Hey, welcome back to another Type 5 How-To. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to winterize a riding lawnmower. Now while I work on the final leaf cleanup of the season before it freezes, there are two things you have to worry about when storing your mower in cold temperatures. Number one, the fuel system, and two, the battery. To prepare your mower's fuel system for the winter, you have to understand that most gas that you get today at the pump has ethanol in it. This is completely fine in warmer temperatures, but when it gets colder, the ethanol in the gas can potentially clog the fine jets in the carburetor, which can make it very difficult to start in the winter or the first time when you go to use it in the spring. Now, if you plan on continually using your mower with a snowblower or plow attachment, it may be a good idea to add a fuel stabilizer during the colder months to keep this from happening. I, however, will be storing the mower until the spring, so I prefer to run my mower until it's empty and then add ethanol-free fuel before starting it back up to store it. Since my local gas stations don't carry ethanol-free gas, I picked up a bottle of ethanol-free true fuel for four-cycle engines, which I'll include in the description below. It can be a bit pricey compared to normal gas, but it's worth it since it saves me the hassle of having to deal with carburetor issues in the spring. And if you found this video helpful so far, don't forget to smash that like button. With the fuel system taken care of, you'll want to make sure that the battery stays maintained over the winter as well. Since freezing temperatures are not ideal for mower batteries, one free and easy option would be to remove the battery and store it inside for the winter. However, if you plan on needing to start the mower at all during the cold weather, I would really recommend a battery tender. I use the Battery Tender Junior that comes with both clamps and a quick connect. To install the quick connect, just disconnect the negative battery cable first and then the positive cable and install the red and black terminal rings from the quick connect on their matching battery posts before reattaching the battery cables. I also use a few zip ties to keep the end of the quick connect in a safe place that's easy to reach. Finally, all that's left to do is park the mower in the shed and plug in the battery tender for the winter. Well, that'll do it for this project. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so I can see you all again on the next one.